great produce around, so I just started experimenting and trying new things and seeing if I liked them, and that's really how I got into food. My name is Liam Lewis, I am 13 years old, and tonight I'm really, really excited to share with you my food journey. So, my food journey started when I was little. For me, <laughs> for me it's always been about the food. I love to eat, I always have. My parents would take me everywhere with them, so I'd eat whatever they ate. I would never, ever order off the kids' menu. <laughs> ever. <laughs> People always ask me, when did I know that I got into food? I think my passion really started when, we were, when I was eight years old. I was living in rural Ontario, in Trenton, Ontario, if anybody knows where that is. <laughs> and my parents decided that I was watching a little too much TV and playing quite a bit too much video games. <laughs> So those were removed. I was, well, I was bored living in Trenton, Ontario, and I was looking for something to do. There was a lot of great produce around. We had access to so many amazing things. So I just started experimenting and trying new things and seeing if I liked them, and that's really how I got into food. We were reading a book at the time called The Locavore by Sarah Alton, so I decided to call myself The Little Locavore. Fitting, right? <laughs> I've learned you should always be open to opportunities. I first met Carrie when my mom bought some meat pies from a store that had opened up in our town. This was a big deal for me, a very big deal, because those were the first meat pies that I'd actually tried and liked. <laughs> and being open to try them was the first thing that I'd actually been open to. And if I hadn't tried those pies, then everything that has come after may never have actually happened. So I got more interested in seeing where the produce and the food I was eating came from. So Carrie invited me to her farm and she showed me what she does with her animals. She grows them all, she grows her vegetables, and she makes her pie. She even shared with me her secret dough recipe. It's amazing, but unfortunately I can't share it with you. <laughs> Meeting Carrie led to an even bigger opportunity. When we moved to Vancouver, Carrie had known Vikram Ridge and told him about me. So, my very first opportunity when we moved to Vancouver was quite a bit overwhelming. Chef Vikram Vij invited me to be his sous chef on a live cook-along. It was a great experience because people could buy the ingredients ahead of time and then cook along live with myself and Vikram. And when I say cook with me and Vikram, Vikram cook and me just mess everything up. <laughs> they also got to tweet in live and ask questions. And that's when I got a lot of great feedback from people telling me that I was doing good and it was just amazing for me. And that, that's when I learned that the Vancouver food community is very tight. So once I put it out there that I wanted to learn how to cook, I realized that the, even though Vancouver is a big city, the food community is very close. I'm so, so, so very grateful that many people have been accepting of me, a 10, 11, 12, and finally 13-year-old kid, and have been willing to teach me what they know and include me in their kitchens. Living in Vancouver, we are also so lucky to have so many farmers markets where we can connect directly to the farmers who grow our food and the people who produce it. Also because of our climate, we can grow our own community rooftop and balcony gardens and you can't get any more local than that. I have advice from many cooks, teachers and great chefs. I've learned to do something that I love, work hard, sometimes very, very, very hard. <laughs> Respect the time that people are taking to teach you. Always be willing to try something new and that you will never, ever, no matter how hard you try, know everything. Sorry, forgot to do this. <laughs> Keep going. How you doing, Mark? I'm fantastic. Are you sure? Yeah. You're dropping eggs into the bowl. Definitely not. <laughs> Perfect, Vancouver. My family and I moved to Vancouver two and a half years ago. I can definitely tell you that Vancouver is a very interesting city. <laughs> From farmers to hawkers markets to pop-up restaurants. Being so close to the ocean, that means fresh and sustainable seafood is also available. The diverse ethnicity of the city means lots of traditional foods along with so much fusion and blending of cultures. The food truck scene in Vancouver is amazing. I've been fortunate to visit, cook, and eat off of many food trucks in Vancouver. When I first started out, I was quite a bit smaller than I am now. In fact, I've grown five inches in the past year, so quite a bit taller. <laughs> Thank you. 
one of the obstacles I faced is people thought that I was so cute. What happened? <laughs> they didn't realize how serious I was in wanting to learn. So that sometimes meant being invited to kitchens, but not actually being able to participate and just watching what the chefs would do. But that takes us to R, repetition and persistence. I learned that repetition is very, very important in cooking and life. When you learn a new recipe, you need to write it down and then make it over and over and over again. This is an area that probably because of my age, I need to improve on. Sometimes I make a dish and expect it to be totally awesome and then get really disappointed when it doesn't turn out. Repetition is important in learning the basic skills of cooking, like chopping, cracking eggs, making sauces, cracking eggs, <laughs> and baking ratios. Also, persistence has opened up a lot of opportunities for me because people now realize that I'm not going to leave them alone until I get into their kitchen. <laughs> Perfect. What do I plan to do when I grow up? At the moment, I know I want to be a chef. But for now, I just want to keep meeting new food people and learning what they're willing to share with me. So thank you for listening. Throw back to when I was 10, and this is my first ever interview. It was so cute. Wash your hands, right over to the sink. A 10 year old food fanatic who loves to cook and inspires to be a chef one day. I've always been interested in food and like where it comes from and how it's prepared, and I think it tastes very good. Liam says the best part about this is tasting the food and his special sushi is going to be featured on the menu here at the Lighthouse this week. But this little locavore says it's all just a starting point. It seems all these experiences are whetting his appetite and giving him a taste for much more in the future. Terry Vote, CTV News, Lethbridge. So, you may have noticed Mark Brand over here doing something. Um, this is actually okonomiyaki, which is going to be featured in the intermission for you. It's a Japanese dish. It's sort of a savory pancake. And so it has shrimp, corn, cabbage, and you're going to be amazed when you try it in the intermission. Uh -huh.